Hi boys and girls, um, this week our author and our illustrator study is going to be the same person. A lot of you have probably read this book. It is a, a kid favorite. This week we're um, talking about the author and the illustrator, Eric Carl. He has a very unique way of doing the illustrations. He writes the words, the author writes the words, the author writes the words, go ahead and keep singing it. He's also the illustrator. Now, Usually when we think of illustrations, we think of pers a person drawing it or painting it. Um, the picture is like we would be illustrators in our classroom. He actually does something really completely different. What he does is he takes these papers, kind of like tissue paper sometimes, sometimes regular paper, and he paints each individual piece of whatever he's trying to paint. Then he cuts it out and he glues it together to make very interesting and detailed pictures. So each one of these sections of the caterpillar was painted a different way and then glued together. Later on this week, you're going to watch a video of Eric Carl showing you how he did it, um, which is very interesting. And you are welcome to try his type of illustration. Um, he also uses different tools when he does this. So he might paint something and then maybe he'll take a fork and he'll go scratch, scratch, scratch to give us these very cool details that you might see. Um, he might also use other tools. And in that video later this week, I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday, you'll get to watch how he did it. Today's book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Your job for this book is to retell the story. Remember, retelling means what happened first, what happened second, and what happened last. If you can get to five things, first, next, then, uh, after, and then finally, that would be great. But you for sure have to do three, first, second, finally, or you could do five. You can remember first, the caterpillar was a egg. Next, he was a he ate the he ate the leaf, and then keep going till you get to five, or you could do three. Parents or kids' choice. So, the very hungry caterpillar, written by Eric Carl. He's also the illustrator, so he has double duty. Now, some of you have read read this book. It's completely okay to read books over and over and over again. It helps make us smart. Now there's no pictures or words on this page, but you do get to see some of Eric Carl's awesome detail of his illustration. So he cut each individual piece and then glued them together. What do you think this looks like? Why would he put this on a picture on a story about a caterpillar? Who do you think made those holes? If you say caterpillar, I, I would agree with you. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the, light of the, in the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. And now you can see that his little egg is there, but then also look at his leaf. It's two different colors. So he used a, a dark color green and then maybe more of a tree green there and put them together to make a leaf. Not usually what we see in illustrations, but very cool. And you can see that he even painted the moon a little face. I bet you have the first finger up. Do you know what happened first? The egg lay on a leaf. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Now in school, you guys usually help me read some of the parts that occur over and over again. Even though we're on camera, you could still read with me because I bet you know this story. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. And you can see that this book actually has holes in it where the, cat, the pretend caterpillar ate through. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. 
Do you have another a num a, another number you could put up? What happens next? On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Hmm, maybe you look and say, which one are those are healthy foods and which ones are not healthy foods? Would chocolate cake be healthy? How about cheese? Cheese would be a good snack. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after that he felt much better. So if this was my, if I had to retell it, this would probably be my fourth thing. The, the caterpillar finally ate, maybe my third thing. He ate a nice green leaf and he felt much better. Now he wasn't, a, he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. Now, cocoon, we don't use that word in kindergarten. We learned a different word in kindergarten called chrysalis. That's what we normally say. Um, but Eric Carl wrote the word cocoon, so that's okay. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nimbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. And I want you to take a really good look at the picture and look at all the detail that Eric Carl did to make this beautiful butterfly. But there's still some things that are the same. If you look really close at his face, he's got a red face, yellow and green eyes. He kept that the same as our butter, as our ca caterpillar, so we could tell that it was him. Okay. The end. So, with your helper, make sure you give your three or five details about what happened in the story, first, second, and last. Thanks, have a great day.